Good morning, Starshine. Since I started learning Factorio, my brain has actually expanded. And I can now score higher on the SAT. Quite honestly, this game has reignited my love for gaming. And I want to show you everything I've learned. So far, this is the work of about six hours on a factory. Let me show you how it all works. To get all of this to do anything, we need some of this. We take this coal and we bring it down this long conveyor belt set. Over here, the coal gets put into boilers for making steel. Steam. The water needs water to work, and the steam engines need steam to work. The steam engines make power which is transported on these cables. The cables lead down here to the everything. Here we mine copper and we smelt it into copper plates. Here we mine iron and we smelt that into iron plates. A series of arms pulls out coal and iron ore to make it into those plates. The plates do various things. Uh, I'm, I'm beginning to wonder if it's even worth it to describe all of this anymore. Sure, you know what, I was a newbie the other day. Let's go down one signal path, so here the iron plates move into the pipe assembler, and the iron plates are assembled into iron pipes. The iron pipes are then taken out here and made into this engine machine. Uh, the engine machine is collecting various resources. It needs steel plates, iron gears, and iron pipes, all of which are connected through a, v a various series of tunnels all around our base. Uh, which have been going through similar signal paths. And we have to keep on going from less complex to more complex things just to create these more and more convoluted contraptions. But now I have over three, I think it's three, two, four, six, I have almost 300 engines, which is a lot of engines. Most of these just create basic materials. I have one thing set up that creates extra train tracks that we'll be using today to get train deliveries from another base. I've also built a wall around the entire base by your guys' idea. This wall is one of the most amazing things. Several of you guys suggested just putting in like a set of conveyor belts going around the base. These carry magazines of ammo, which are then transported all the way around the base, and at each interval stop, they're brought over to one of these turrets, which then <laughs> picks up the ammo and refu refuels, resupplies the turret. And we go all around the base like this. We have so many of these things. We have them set up like one or two within each other's range so that they are never without support. And we've had several bug attacks over the last couple of days. Quite honestly, this is, this is some of the most fun I've ever had in a game. I don't know if you would really call it fun as much as immersion, but... Immersion kind of is fun. We go all the way around the base like this and I have more gun turrets at every stop. Now, granted that there are better gun turrets out there, um, but honestly, I'm just gonna leave this set up because it's a pretty good setup. I think the most convoluted ch signal path chain is the, uh, the production of science, which is just uh, flasks filled with these generic green and red fluids. We, we pick those up and we do research with them. These machines are producing knowledge. Along with that, I've set up this series of radars, probably too many, uh, but those are continuously scanning the region for attacks that might be coming in at me. Today, I was saving my raid, so I set up all of this stuff last night so that I could actually do something fun when I made a video. And before I mention it, uh, we've also got a lot of new technologies unlocked. We've, I've just gotten everything in order. Probably most notably, I've researched the train, which we'll be working on today, and automobilism, which gives us this car. A new car! And I've loaded this car up with ammo, so we're now- Oh, shit, fuck. Yeah, the car crashes frequently. So we're going to get in the car, and now we're going to go to these red areas, because they keep attacking the perimeter of my base, and I need to stop it. So we'll just attack them in the middle of the night, which will be safe. And there they- Okay, there they come. You know, we could even lead them back to the base, and that would also be quite alright, but our car's machine gun is really powerful, so... Okay, there's... Oh shit. Okay, here they come. Deedly, deedly, deedly. That's how they run. They run like... Okay, we've led them back to the wall. Fight me, demon! Oh fuck, I did not expect this many of them to come after me. Okay, okay. Okay, I am safe again. Time to repair. Now, it may seem a little underwhelming, but that's only because I've taken so many steps to make myself completely overpowered against these things. Uh, I was getting my ass kicked yesterday. So let's now go to the base and take out these monstrous evils. Good, good, and I think we can actually take out this entire nest. Good, 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 good. Let's do this parallel park in here. You gotta keep parallel parking if you don't want to die. And I think we can take out the rest with our SMG which I've also unlocked. So now I'm fully equipped to deal with bad guys. 
I know I haven't done a game showcase in a while, but I just wanted to say, like, this game's graphics make me so nostalgic for The Sims. They're at... I, n I never expected something like this to still exist. I thought all of those games were over, you know, from back when I was a child. Uh, but that's honestly... This is the graphical style. This is my favored graphical style in games, like the old you know, Age of Empires look. But I'm like, I'm really fanboying here. I just love it. It's making me so happy to play this. And we'll take out another nest. And I think, you know, if we can just exterminate the local population here, this game is about global warming after all. Here we go. Let's make it happen. And ooh, that's many a new nest there. Now I've had random raids come in, but I'm not sure I'm equipped to deal with something really powerful yet. Nor do I think they get stronger as it goes on. We need, like, more powerful bullets. But for right now, I, I'm content to just sit back and kite them a lot. And although the combat's simplistic, all I really do is just press the space bar and then it hits anything near to my cursor. It is really satisfying, too. I'm gonna go back to my base before I get killed, but you can see the mayhem. It's really satisfying to see how many you've taken out. And there's always a decent way to cheese the nest where you can just stand at max range and take them down. There's nothing like coming out with a full, full inventory of ammo and just laying waste to everything on- I mean, look at what we just did to that entire part of the map. There's still more. I don't know if they can breed new nests. I think we'll try to take out one more and then come back to our base. Oh, it looks like we're being attacked over here, but as long as it's a yellow blinker, that means our turrets handled it. There's also more territory into which we can expand in the future if we really need that. We have only one more infestation on this side of the map, and I think we'll just stand and shoot this one now. Yep. Hey, good. Now, there will be no cleanup. Yeah, as long as you you just wait time or build over them, their corpses will go away. Being a clean freak, I also was thinking about that. Let's do an action driver turn- oh my god, please, that was really scary. Your car runs out of health so fast. Now, the map is enormous. This is just a sense of scale, but our scanners work only in this small radius, so we have other resources we're eventually going to want to build out to. My iron ore, I have only 345,000 worth left. There's 2.6 million here still, another 7.1 million here, 4.6 million here, so you can see that we're running out of iron here. It's actually far worse than I thought it was. So, we are running out of resources, and we need to go to other parts of the map if we still want to get resources at all. So, the pipe dream of being able to, you know, mine iron out of the ground forever is just not gonna happen. Like, see, these ones are red, they've already run dry. We still have a little bit more iron over here, but, I mean, maybe we'll link that up, but really, I'm looking for a more systematic solution. So, we've built this train, and we're now- we I built train tra God. I really spent too much time on this yesterday. Although, it was worth it. I built these ra- I'm so proud of everything. Well, what I was trying to say was, I built over to here so that we could get more iron, and I think I'll set up my next base at this iron, because this still has a shitload of iron left. I also brought about a thousand wall segments with which to surround this place, because we're going to desperately need walls next. Here we go. And why not? We have so much wall, we can make it too wall thick. Nothing like a too wall thick wall. That wall too thick, because we're going to be getting attacked a lot. Now, ideally, we can get lasers at the edge of our base. But we have a long series of technologies to get through before we can research that, so... I might actually have to manufacture ammo outside of the base for right now, because I can't imagine doing a conveyor belt all the way along this and then surrounding that track. I mean, you could, it wouldn't be so bad, but simplicity is key. Walls are also key. I've had a machine that's making, like, 10,000 walls now. Uh, and we're actually getting to my box limit capacities. It's almost like the game makes you wish that you were smarter or that you could think faster. Everything is amazing in it. I've also been storing away hundreds of units of ammo, so I'm going to actually build another car and then use that to get over to my next base. I have new, like, rich guy problems. Okay, let's build her there. Fuel it with coal. I guess we'll be able to use oil or something later. This is all that I have for right now, though. And make our way over to the base. Oh, shit. It's almost like imagining yourself being some sort of oil tycoon with no family, you know? That's what it's all about. Now we can set up a new base over here, complete with all sorts of new miners. And we'll set up automated track delivery in this spot. That works, I think. And now we could use these outlines to tell us where the train is going to be. This is my first time doing this, so I hope it works out. And we could do this to load the boxes and then load into the train. 
crane. I think we could fit in two more and then we'll go like this. And we don't need to go the other way because we'll only be unload we'll only be loading this train up here. I swear the technology tree has gone has gone so far that I don't even know what I'm researching anymore. Now this part is really satisfying. All of the iron gets loaded into the boxes by these really enthusiastic arms. They love working. And then we could bring it over here. And when the train arrives, it should load up with all of this iron and then come back to our main base. So with all that set up and in line... Ooh, we forgot ammo. Uh, ultimately, we'll want laser turrets, but we might want to set up one factory for bullet. Yeah, we'll leave it. I can probably respond to the call in time if it happens for right now. It's not that far from our base yet. We can use more grab arms at our base. And eventually these will link up with our main iron ore conveyor belt. So then all of this is to say that when this runs out, we'll have a new source of iron linked back up to linked back up to our old one. So we shouldn't die. And that's why all of this is necessary. Okay, now let's actually set up automated deliveries. So we are here at Michael Stadel. I don't know where, who is Mike who is Michael Stadel? Okay, before it was called the Necronecomene Mast. That's gone. Now we're at Michael Stadel. Okay. Okay, we add a weight condition. So we want it. When its cargo is empty, then we can go. And we leave Skint Kingle, which is what it is named the new place by default. And we'll wait until the cargo is full for it to go. So this should work. And. I, I think we actually have to double this on the other part of the, the train. And as it turns out, my train was facing the wrong direction. Here it goes now into the great beyond. Let's go follow it and make sure that everything's working right. And good. Okay, the iron ore is being loaded onto the train on a double gate. Uh, obviously, we need to add more stuff and optimize it, but the basic path is working. We just need this thing to get back okay. And then I should also probably find some way of setting up automatic refueling of the train's engine. Not that it needs it that much, but I don't want it to, like, run out of fuel in the middle of the track and then lose it because obviously that would be bad bad is not good and here we go now we're loading up i think as fast as possible well we could do the other side too but what would that be worth maybe 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 now i'll show you how my mind is expanded i was producing fast transport belts the red ones by hand but it was just taking too much time so now i've made a machine do it uh it's it's not perfect, actually, I should have- I should really have a second one of these things doing this other job, but you can't always get what you want. Let's also replace this with the fast grabby hand. Now we've set it up and got Iron Horn back at our base. I've had a couple issues I've run in with here and I'm just kind of troubleshooting it. I've been doing this for the last 20 minutes or so. I should be able to get automated gates, but sometimes I get the no path message, so I've been looking at other setups and comparing them. But I'm just gonna watch another smooth delivery here. And I don't know why, but when I- reloaded my save all the stop names changed so they've, they've just become more european oh and there it goes and our train is okay it's gonna make a successful delivery okay so it can go both ways i don't know what went wrong before i'm gonna try adding in gates again just so i feel safer right, well i think it's set up right I, I don't see why it wouldn't work i'm i have too i have too many resources now and although i like the old you know dirty ground uh it does make me walk faster if i make everything stone so it's sad you know but hey it's helping me and i'm making a lot of decisions i'll probably regret in a few i don't there's probably concrete i don't know there's a lot you can do but i'm learning learning is fun and look our train has made it out okay we have now fully set up automated deliveries now we actually need to defend those automated deliveries because uh, this could very uh, quickly be torn apart by bugs. At the same time, I think we're just so fabulously wealthy, I, I can't think of how to make this place much better. I could probably set up machines to make more machines so that I don't have to make machines anymore, and all I really need to do is put things places. So let's do that. We're also just starting to run low on electricity, so I'm going to start creating solar arrays. I figure if we have it available, we might as well do it. I don't know how it does with storing electricity or how that really works, but it's pretty much free power right now, and my my steam power is just getting a little bit dizzying. It's starting to confuse me, or it's becoming too absurd large. Solar panels are easier on the eyes. Now, I don't want to mess with the original construction of the factory, because that would just take a lot of time. I'd rather add in new modules to make these machines work faster. So, if I want to do that, I'm going to need a lot of petroleum gas to make more advanced electronic circuits. 
So I'm gonna build a chemical plant here and just see how that works. We're going to need to start mining oil if we want to get petroleum gas. With the petroleum gas, we could then make plastic bars. With the plastic bars, we could then make advanced circuits. With the advanced circuits, we could then make productivity modules and speed modules. So if we want to make our machines go faster, we're gonna need oil. And if we want to get oil, we're actually gonna need to go over here. Or here. There's a couple different options we have, but we need a new train. All this is to say, we're going to be encountering more enemies. And fast. Before we build anything out here, I'm gonna scout the area, because our scanners might not necessarily be picking up everything out here. We've got one nest over here I want to take out before we expand. That's gone. Now we could really just explore the rest of the map. I want to have an idea of what's- oh shit. Look at all that. Oh my god, there's two right next to- yeah, we're not gonna have an easy time with petroleum over here. Okay, so then it's good that we didn't expand out yet. And there's even bigger bugs out here too. These ones are stronger than the old ones. It's like a Hot Wheels car, Jesus. Yeah, I don't think I'm even armed to take that on yet. So let's see if we can find another spot with oil. Well, this oil location seems a bit safer, but let's have a look around in the surrounding area. I can't really get through just because there's so many trees. I'll have to do this on foot. Yeah, good enough for me, it looks safe. Well, now we need to figure out how to make oil oil refineries. I, I gotta say, I'm reluctant to cut down the forest because I think that the trees in this game just look really nice. They bring me back to Project Zomboid, you know, the nice pixelated trees. I like those a lot. Now we'll stay in our car like undercover cops and we can build out a set of power lines to the coal so that we can start pro- not coal, oil, so that we can start processing it. As it turns out, we can also actually just chop down trees from inside of our car. If you can just kind of picture swinging an axe from out the window. I find that very entertaining and completely wholesome. Next, and honestly, I don't even know how this part works anymore. I'm just learning this as I go. Uh, I guess we'll take oil out of the ground. There we go. We're actually pumping oil out of the ground now. Now in good time, we'll link this up to our trains. I just kind of want to get it out of the ground. I hope I'm doing it right and it doesn't blow up. Eventually, I guess we'll be taking that oil, then pumping it into the train which will then have fluid wagons once we've researched them and bringing oil back to our base. In the meantime, we can probably link up these two tracks and now I'm gonna wanna make for the setting up of some signals so that I don't have some horrible crash in the future. Uh, though that's bound to happen. I would honestly be disappointed if I went for a whole series without it crashing. And I know you would too. I feel like Factorio is a game where if something goes wrong, it would go wrong in mass proportions. And that excites me, don't get me wrong. But it's going to happen at some point, and I'm just hoping that I get it on film. Okay, and I guess we'll do, uh, we'll put a signal, like, here? I'm gonna do this wrong. Uh, it looks okay. At least it's divide- okay, it, it is intelligently dividing up the train network. At least it appears that way to me. I have no idea what it- I probably set that up wrong, but- Well, I'll learn that when I, uh, when I- cr we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Or, I'll just say we'll crash that train when we come to it. You didn't come here to watch someone be safe with trains, you came to see the explosion, I know. It's the reason why people slow down at car accidents. Well, this looks like it's supposed to work. I'm just go I'm just going to put these rickety machines together and see what happens. Oh, here we go. We're pumping in the oil. It sounds like it's it sounds like it's working. Okay, there. That clearly something is happening. Well, there we go. That's all we needed, right? Okay, and the train is actually being filled with oil. Wow, now we need to figure out how to empty that oil back at our main base, so we're gonna get back into our car. And we'll also have to defend this base, though. I just haven't seen any enemies around here, so I'm going to ignore the problem. Oh, you know, I don't... It, although it would be beautiful to set it up so that oil could be here, too, I think onloading and offloading trains is gonna waste time. So I'm just gonna set up another one over here. Uh, we'll have multiple train stations, but look, we have a lot of space to work with, so why not? I mean, we're not talking about this. Or this. We're talking about this. And we've added rail signals over here. Good, now we've finished up connecting our pipe networks with the oil. And we should be drilling for oil as quickly as we can. And there goes the train, yes! Okay, the oil is going to our base. This is so satisfying. Two mining camps. And fuck, okay. Clearly the signals are fucking up. Because, like, why? There's no... <laughs> 
There's no reason. What happens if I get rid of the signals? Okay, okay. Well, I can't wait for the explosion that's going to come. Let's try this. This is probably also wrong. Look at them go. Look at them pump the oil on. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Oh, our pumps were going the wrong way. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, whatever. Well, we're getting the oil now, and that's what I wanted. Okay, the oil's getting pumped back through. That gets brought to a refinery, and then that's made... Yes, we've now made petroleum gas. A lot of effort to make petroleum gas. Wow, that was a fast unload. Let's see if it gets stopped at the signal, and that makes it red. And the other one is... Okay, it looks like the signals are working. I could be wrong about that. I haven't really had any trials where they're both trying to go at the same time, which is probably going to be the most exciting one. And when then we connect that to the coal, and we put it to a chemical plant, and now we're making bars of plastic, which now we have tons and tons of coal and tons and tons of petroleum, so we could just make a crap load of plastic bars. I'm trying to remember what we needed that for in the first place. Yeah, this is one of those kinds of things. We bring all of that back together and now we can make advanced circuits. And now with advanced circuits, we can make speed, efficiency, and productivity modules, which will then allow... All of this is just an elaborate plot to help us research faster and get to our ship faster, which is really the ultimate goal here. Um, obviously we could put all this into a more of a productive chain, but I just wanted to test and see if it would work. We're now working really fast again at science though, so this has all just become sort of redundant. You find that after you go through all that effort, you, you might have actually had what you wanted at the beginning. Oh, I see how it works. I see how the machine works. So now all of our science machines and our assemblers can take two two modules. We could also take them back. But if we could make green science a little faster, that'd be nice. Each one of these does a bunch of different things. It just means that we won't have to expand out our territory so exorbitantly far. But for now, I mean, it's two hours have passed since I started recording. I don't even know how long the video will end up being. I'm guessing somewhere around 20 minutes. But I spent about four hours getting all of this ready last night. Honestly, for me, it's kind of nice because I just get to practice with the game on my own and then come back with something actually results like to show and for some of you guys this might be the first time trying factorio uh, though i think m i'm pretty much the one getting the tips here so keep them coming thanks for everything so far i still haven't fully gotten through i know i'm supposed to also be able to expand my tool belt like i can show all of the other rows in here but uh there's a lot to learn and i'm just enjoying it i'm also enjoying just having 2000 segments of wall to place everywhere it's been a long time since I felt like I had a surplus of resources, especially coming from someone who plays RimWorld so much. Okay, now if you'll excuse me, I have some sort of train signal issue to clear up. I'm so- Can I get hit by the train right? I don't want to get hit by the train with everything I have, but it's supposed to be an achievement if you get hit by the train, so I'm just gonna drop all of my stuff off in case if I die. But now, come at me, train. Ooh, I didn't even get an achievement. Maybe I need to be hit at, by it at full speed or something. Oh, regardless, uh, I'm gonna try to figure out this, uh, signal problem. But there you have it. I can withstand the full impact of a train. Glorious, glorious. Go try Factory if you haven't already. Just hit 1.0 and every moment has been amazing. As always, my name's Ambiguous Amphibian. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.